Hi guys, um, today I want to show you how I managed to create a Udemy workflow for my uh, silver tray uh, to apply four different displacement maps to the same object but still using one shader to, for, to make the, the color, the look depth of my tray without using any blender displacement from Redshift or any layer textures because we have just found out that they have a little bug about auto bump and a little bug about auto bond um, in when you do you when you do UV UDIM. Sorry, this is my first recording. I haven't spoken in English in a long time, so please be patient, okay? So this is quite simple. What you want to do, you have the object. As you can see, I have different UV for my object. I have different UVs for my object in different tile. So what I want to do is assign to each tile one shader. Now I have for Lambert. It's not important what shader you use. You can use any shader you want. Uh, it's not important how you do it, just assign to the faces, assign the shader that you want. One is done, then another one, quite simple, assign, then here it is another one, assign the third one, and now this guy, assign the fourth one. Now, each of this material, each of this tile will have a different material. Now, what I want to do is to each material assign the displacement map. So, in this case, the number two is that guy, so it is my first one. And what I want to do is go there, do that, and simply do that. Done. Same thing I want to do with that guy. That's my number two, which is here. So there it is. And that's done. Same thing for number four is that guy. That's my number three, I think. Yes, that's my number three. So what I want to do is do that. Go there. Done. And then do the same for my number four, which is my four displacement, which is here. Done. Now I have each patch will have each tile will have its own displacement map. Simple as that. But of course you will have four different materials to have to deal with to do one object that has to have the exact same material. So that's the quite simple part. Now you create the material that you want to use. In this case, I'm just going to take uh, architectural redshift. I'm going to go to each of my node, in this case, or my four Lambert node, and just substitute that red architect to the Lambert 5. Same thing for Lambert 3, Lambert 4. Number two, and now I have this connected to all four of them. So if I delete, where is it? Is I knew the nodes. I knew the node. It will delete all my four Lambert, but it will leave their node, displacement map, and the actual displacement map here. Now, of course, this map already have. They already been moved as you can see so they are all f moved in, in the tile on the UV tile and there is no wrap checked on so that they will not overlap to each other in this case now I have simple as that so this guy will be my overall look but the displacement map will be from each of them and they are assigned to the faces and their um, UV tiles. So now, in this case, if I want to do a render, of course there is no light in it, so, oh, sorry, of course I was with V-Ray, 
So I guess I will do this. There it is. And in this case, you will see that my UV tile are taking all the displacement. In this case, even the center is taking displacement because I applied the same material to it. I will have to create another one. In this case, I will create another Lambert. I will assign to that guy and then I will do exactly the same, changing that. And now you will see how that is gone. Actually, something has happened to my displacement map. Okay, but still, it's working. So just don't think about it. I don't know what's happening. It's 4 a.m. in the morning right now. I don't want to even think what is going on there. So there it is. And if I change this guy and I make, I don't know, a tray, a silver tray they actually created before. But there is nothing reflecting, but you can see this changing the look of overall of the piece, still using four different displays and map in four different tiles without having to use any layer textured or displacement bump, uh, displacement blender, which are bug, buggy right now and given some problem. I've been fighting against them for two days and now I just figured out this method. Maybe you guys already know, maybe you don't, but you know, I thought that could be worth it to tell you and save you a lot of time if you didn't know. Um, I think that you can use exactly the same technique with everything that's here, so even with the map shader and so on. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little tutorial. Sorry again, it's my first time, so I was a little bit nervous. Please, um, if you have any question, just let me know. Thank you. Bye.